Hey guys, we are back with another game of Pomper. We are playing some Mono White Infect, and we can definitely keep this hand. Got some removal, got an Infector, got a way to protect it on turn one. And we're on the player and opponent mulligans. Hey, this is going pretty well. We've also got Cho Mano's Blessing to kind of eventually get there, hopefully. There we go. Is this burn, perhaps? Got a lightning bolt, end of turn? Nope, okay. That's good. Exiles Rift Bolt. Okay, I guess they kept a really slow hand. So we'll just go ahead and Chomano's Blessing the Lost Leonin. Give it Pro Red. Get in for some mixed damage. Suspending, gonna bolt my face, yep. So still not a very close race. I mean, if he draws another land, he can probably start playing most of his hand. There's a needle drop, hopefully finding him a land. Oh, wow, okay, he's pretty screwed. And there's the ethereal armor. Go ahead and play that. Get in for some more mixed damage. And that looks like it's going to be game. Next turn. Yeah, there's basically no nothing he can do here. Nice. Good little turn five kill here. Yep, okay. Our opponent was pretty mana screwed, so not too surprising. Uh, we'll board like we did last time with Standard Bearer, uh, Dawn Charm, Circle of Protection, Red, Prismatic Strands. We'll take out, I guess, the Bodyguards. Uh, we will take out One Journey. Uh, I think we'll take out the Corpse Curse. And then, I guess, an Ethereal Armor and a Bone Splitter. And let's send it in. Okay, this is a slow one, but I think we can keep it. Looking better already. Let's play the secluded step past the turn. We'll go with Ickerclaw Mirror. If he taps out, well, I mean, if he taps out on turn three, then uh, for my turn three, then uh, we can start laying a bunch of auras on it. Hopefully, we get another white source for the Ward of Lights. Then I'd feel really good about this. Getting Rift Bolted and Needle Dropped and Needle Dropped. Okay. Oh, there's the third land. That's what I like to see. So then let's go with the Icker Claw and pass the turn. No way to really protect it right now. I mean, I could have waited till turn three, but I've got Priests of Norn, which will be really difficult for them to answer anyways. The Firebrand Archer, which we can answer with Journey to Nowhere. They're going to Chain Lightning our face. We're taking four. And no, we're not going to do that. Ooh, another... Plains is excellent, actually. 
Um, so I could journey to nowhere, the Firebrand Archer, play Hyena Umbra, and just go to town. I think that's probably the best play. It's because the Firebrand Archer is such a beating. And the Hyena Umbra still protects the Iker Claw Mirror. Next turn, I can uh, go uh, Ethereal Armor, Ward of Lights. And suddenly we're looking at a very, very big mirror. Hopefully we're not just dead here, though. Wow. We could just be dead here. We are not, though. Okay. And we got Circle of Protection Red, which we will cast right away. And he's at one card. I guess I'll just pass and attack for two. And this game is looking pretty good. He's down to two cards in hand. Next turn I'll have my full four mana available. I can just spend one of it to play Ethereal Armor, and uh, I'll be on my way. Okay, here's the circle of uh, the curse here, so we can't do anything about that. I might just take the one damage, honestly. Yeah, I think I will take the one damage. I drew another circle. Okay, so let's just go with uh, Ethereal Armor and game. All right. Wow. So yeah, having all these extra little enchantments in play really did the made made the math work for Ethereal Armor, uh, putting us at lethal on the following turn. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.